Do you think that the Andromeda galaxy is another universe? No. Well, about 150 years ago, it was called another island universe. Mm -hmm. And as we talk about things like the Big Bang and maybe things that might be before it or a cause of, then the whole question of what the universe means arises, and your presentation doesn't deal with that well. And the, there are physicists who give serious idea to the, to the thought of these multiverses, as well as there's this marvelous thing called um, colliding membranes, and your presentation does not serve your, your listeners well to not acknowledge them. Are you, are, are you, so if you want questions, are you familiar with the membrane idea that the membranes collide? This causes this repeating universe which you don't like, you're gonna say entropy is violated and so on like you did in Knoxville. Are you familiar with the membrane colliding theory? Yeah, hang on one second, I'm looking for something here. Hold uh -huh. on, stand by for vectors, Victor. There's all sorts of different theories out here, uh, as you know, Forrest. And we should say hypothesis because right, yeah. hypotheses are things that don't have evidence behind them yet. Okay. In fact, yeah, we're well, struggling to find ways to test them. You can say anything you want, but there's a difference between a possibility and evidence for a possibility. Right? You can say yep. that we were all created by green leprechauns, but that doesn't mean that that's a theory that has evidence behind it. What has happened over the past uh, 50 or so years has been that the standard Big Bang cosmology has taken all sorts of attacks from all sorts of different directions, oscillating universes, membranes, all this kind of thing, and it has come through as still the standard model for good reason. Do you understand that the, the Big Bang theory merely says that the universe went through a hot, dense phase about 13.8 billion years ago? It does not say that there was a creation event before that. That's one of the possibilities there's a lot of possibilities, that. but a lot of even if, even, I, I could go through quote after quote here from I, I, I think we served my purpose. Your first bullet in that slide that had, it said creation, TL, teleo, I'm gonna mangle that word. Help mm -hmm. me with that word, teleology. There we go. Teleological, And, and there moral. You go. That first bullet we've now demonstrated, you've made a strong claimer than you want. Uh, uh, you've made a claim stronger than you want. I'm re right. ready to surrender. Okay, let, let me just, before you go, Forrest, I just wanna point something out. Let's say, I don't grant this, but let's just say that uh, mm -hmm. somehow there's a new cosmological theory that comes along that supplants the Big Bang, right? Because science, no, as you pointed out- It I'm doesn't supplant it. The, it uh, will enlarge it okay, and in, okay. the Big Bang will be a special case of, or All right. it'll let, tell let, a greater Let story. me make my point, okay? Um, let's just say that cosmology is tentative because science is tentative. This is not tentative here, what I'm about to show you that shows that time had a beginning. This is a philosophical argument for the beginning of time. Here's today, there's yesterday, there's the day before yesterday, there's last week. Question, can this line be infinite into the past? Yes. How could it be infinite into the past and today have arrived? It can be infinite if there is no beginning. What we do see is that we now answer, live Please answer the question. 5. How could today have gotten here if there's an infinite number of days before today? I believe that we are struggling against inadequacy of the English language, which lets us construct nonsensical questions. How is it a nonsensical question to say that there can't be an infinite number of days before today for today to have arrived? I think maybe I can try and address that by saying, can you hand me a piece of this nothing that was before and we can talk about its properties. You're sounding like Lawrence Krauss now. No, nothing is non-being. Non-being, nothing. Do you have a piece of it that we can examine its properties? No, because nothing is not a piece of anything. So you're right, making Forrest, okay, philosophical Forrest, assumptions Forrest, yourself. Forrest, yeah. okay, uh, okay you, you don't have an answer, I understand. I, me, my answer was next, that we next, don't have evidence of a beginning. That was my th answer. This is evidence of a beginning right here. Because, uh, for a couple reasons. You can't traverse an infinite number of days to get to today. Secondly, you can't be at the end of an infinite, right? Because an infinite is something that has no end. But here we are at the end of the infinite. Thirdly, you can't add anything to an infinite. But tomorrow, we're going to add another day. And the day after that, we'll add another day. And the day after that, we'll add another day. So there can't be an infinite number of moments before today. By the way, this, uh, this, this argument was brought forth by a Muslim philosopher about 800 years ago and has since yet, yet to be answered.